मतलब होता है स्टोरेज सो टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद द मेजरमेंट ऑफ द फ्रिक्वेंसी विद द हेल्प ऑफ द लिसर्जिस पैटर्न सो द रिक्वायर्ड इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स आर द टू फंक्शन जनरेटर्स सो फर्स्ट फंक्शन जनरेटर इज क्रिएटेड एज अ नॉन फ्रिक्वेंसी सोर्स विच इज यूज एज अ रिफरेंस सोर्स आर फॉर द कंपेरिजन पर्पज एंड अनदर फंक्शन जनरेटर इज क्रिएटेड एज अ अनोन फ्रिक्वेंसी सोर्स उस फ्रिक्वेंसी वी वॉन्ट टू मेजर राइट सो द अनोन फ्रिक्वेंसी सोर्स मीन्स the frequency that you want to measure with the help of the laser spectrum is applied to the channel 1 that is the representation of the y and the known frequency source or the function generator is connected to the uh, x that is the representation of the channel 2 to create the uh, unknown frequency source in the laboratory we have selected uh, one function generator right and uh, is is a screen frequency scale is visible so that's why uh, we have uh, uh, means uh, uh, connected a paper strip here so that the screen can be invisible right and uh, uh, we don't know now that uh, what should be the frequency uh, of this uh, unknown uh, frequency source so this uh, generator frequency generator function generator is a uh, unknown source for us so practically if you go in the field so uh, you don't know about the uh, uh, frequency that what is the frequency coming from a particular source so in that case uh, uh, that is a unknown frequency source right but here in laboratory we have to use a one of the function generator for the unknown frequency source and to make that unknown frequency source we have to hide its screen with the help of a paper now we have the another function generator uh, which is treated as a known frequency source so what's happening here uh, that uh, the known frequency source is connected to the channel 2 of our cro because channel 2 is a representation of the x right so now uh, you can select any of the frequency range out of this frequency ranges and uh, uh, what you have to do here you have to select it uh, from the 50 uh, Uh, ohm output right so you to remember here because there are uh, so many outputs are taken uh, from the function generator so which terminal you have to remember here the output uh, written as a 50 ohm is selected for the operation now uh, let us connect the uh, unknown frequency source to the y right and known frequency source means the known frequency generator to the x so these two are connected here and the cro should be operated in a dual mode cro should be operated in a dual mode so press the switch uh, denoted by the dual here uh, as well as uh, 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 press the switch denoted by the xy so this is the dual of uh, the cro switch so whenever you want to measure the unknown frequency with the help of the lissajous pattern so dual mode is selected because we are using the two signals one is connected to the channel 1 that is the unknown signal that you want to measure with the help of the lissajous pattern and another is a known frequency source that you are connecting to the channel 2 right so here this is the channel 2 uh, this is the channel 1 unknown frequency source here and uh, uh, which is uh, applied uh, with the help of uh, uh, unknown frequency source so one of the function generator is selected here and another one is uh, known frequency source so this frequency can be set at any point right there is no restriction that you cannot start with the 10 hertz or 100 hertz so any frequency can be selected uh, with the help of these movable switches right and uh, uh, this unknown frequency source is used to uh, create a stationary pattern on the screen right so that's why uh, what you have to do uh, during the procedure that only the frequency variable switch is used as well as only the change in the range is used here uh, with the help of this known frequency generator when you use your cro in xy mode and uh, as you are using the two signals uh, at the channel 1 and channel 2 so in that case the time per division will not work because the time per division is used for the synchronization of the unknown signal that you want to apply to the channel 1 but so and so unknown signal that you want to measure 
is applied to channel 1 right applied to channel 1 here and the known signal you apply to the channel 2 so channel 2 is connected to the x plates channel 1 is connected to the y plates so in that case when you apply the dual and then press the x y so this time per division will not work in general the time per division is used for the synchronization of the input signal that you always apply to the uh, channel 1 now we have said the function generator at a uh, certain frequency that we don't know because the pepper strip is here so this is uh, the hidden portion that uh, uh, what should be the value of the frequency what should be the range of the frequency now we are dealing uh, this part for the unknown frequency source that we want to measure with the help of the this adjust pattern now what we want to do here we have the known for, uh, frequency source here known frequency generator here and what we are doing here that we want to adjust the value of the unknown frequency with the help of the known frequency so that's why uh, we will vary the frequency with the help of this frequency variable as well as we will select the frequency range so that the stationary pattern on the CRO screen can be obtained now look at uh, this pattern so you have a single uh, pattern is uh, uh, observable here right so when, uh, when I change the value of when I change the value of uh, volt for division of channel 1 what will happen you can observe this here you can observe this here they the expansion of this pattern that is known as the Lissajous pattern can be seen